Good morning, welcome back to another video. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of stuff done today. It is Monday, it is the last week of school for the kids before winter break starts. And we have had house guests for the last, I feel like, month straight with just a few days in between. And all of our house guests are officially gone today. We love having our family and friends come visit, um, but it's also nice to like get back in the routine of things and get your house back in order and all of that. So that's what I'm gonna do today and tomorrow um i am going to just kind of like pick up and get things back in order today and then tomorrow i'm gonna do like a big clean like clean the floors wipe everything down um do a like a whole house clean with me basically so i'm gonna film that tomorrow but today i just need to kind of like get stuff picked up and i also really want to clean out <laughs> this closet today i always have a monica closet i actually have two in this house the closet under the stairs is a whole other story. That's like a huge storage closet. We will organize that one day. But this closet here, when we moved in, I just kind of threw a bunch of stuff in here and it's a mess. Like there's no rhyme or reason. There's just random stuff that some of it should be like in the laundry room. There's just board games and just a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be organized. That's just one of those things that I've been like, putting off doing and thinking about doing and I'm like you know what I'm gonna do that today so we're gonna do that in this video and just kind of like you know do a basic cleanup refluff um, I need to like put the bed away in the front room and I need to like make my bed and just that kind of stuff dishes wipe things down in the kitchen just whatever I can do today and then tomorrow I'm gonna like do the floors and do like a deep clean on the whole house also wanted to say thank you so much for being here taking time out of your day to click on my video and watch it whatever it is that you're doing while you're watching if you're cleaning along with me if you're doing your makeup doing your hair um sitting on your couch whatever it may be thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate it so um let's go All right, we are starting off in the laundry room. I'm gonna get all the clean clothes taken out of the dryer that I did the day before and get all the clothes from the wash thrown in the dryer, get those going and start a new load in the washer. We have lots of laundry to do today, all of the kids' clothes, and I just need to get caught up. So, swapping around the laundry and then we will take that out to the living room to get folded. I just have this little balsam fir candle from Target that I'm going to light before we get started on folding this laundry. And I've just been doing the kids laundry with everything included lately instead of sorting everything out because it just makes it so much quicker and all of their white clothes have still been coming out white. So wish me luck that it continues to be that way, but it's just been so much easier to take each kid's dirty clothes hamper and just throw it all in at once and then fold all their clothes and then when I'm folding clothes I don't have to sort it out by whose is who it's just these are all Brodies these are all Bradens these are all Berkeleys and then it's easier to put away it's easier to fold all of that and then mine and Donnie's laundry I sort out towels etc so anyways this is one of the boys baskets of clean clothes so I'm gonna get that folded All right, 
I got Brody's clothes all folded and typically I would just go stick this in his room and have the kids put their clothes away when they get home from school, but sometimes mom, you know, especially when I'm filming, I'm like, it's just more content. So let's give them a little treat, put the clothes away for them so they don't have to do it after school. And then it's more content for a cleaning video for you guys. So we're headed into Brody's closet and I'm gonna get his shirts hung up and then get all of his stuff put away in his drawers. Now I know it's a little late to be ordering like Christmas clothing, Merry Christmas sweatshirts, that kind of thing because Christmas is in just a few days from when this video is going live on my channel. But I did want to remind you guys that I do have an Etsy shop with tons of cute stuff. My shop manager does all my printing and shipping and everything like that, but we're always adding new designs to the Etsy shop. This sweatshirt is in my Etsy shop, so maybe you can get one for next Christmas. But also, she can do like custom things, custom designs, and pretty much anything on shirts, sweatshirts. So just send her a message via Etsy. I have our Etsy shop linked in the description box for you guys. Like I said, we're always adding new stuff, and um, she can do pretty much anything. There's tons of cute stuff in there right now, so click the link in the description box to check out our Etsy shop. So now I am vacuuming our couch, and I'm using my Shark Apex. I got this vacuum, I think, was it 2017 or 2018? I'm not sure. If you've been around for years and years, back when we lived at the farmhouse, I got this vacuum, and it is still kicking. It does an amazing job. It's a corded vacuum. It's heavy duty, um, but I bring this out. It's, it's like the big guns, you know? Um, so I just attached the pet attachment and then took the canister off of like the main part of the vacuum and I'm just going to carry it around with me, vacuum the cushions, kind of fluff them up a little bit and freshen up the couch a bit. Then I'll get the pillows and blankets put back where they go. The living room is all cleaned up and I realized I had not plugged in the Christmas tree yet today. So I just plugged in the Christmas tree and I'm giving you a little overview of the clean couch with the Christmas pillows and the Christmas tree in the background. It's a cozy vibe. I got my vacuum put back together and there's just a few things here in the kitchen that I'm going to put back where they belong, jacket, kids, some kids stuff, and now I'm going to clear off the fridge. We have lots of Berkeley Christmas artwork and school stuff on the fridge and so whenever it's covered in artwork and just like stuff that we put up with magnets, it's like few and far between whenever I actually wipe down the fridge. It's one of those chores that I just avoid. <laughs> so I'm putting this spray away 
uh, stainless steel cleaner on there and I'm going to start wiping it down with that and this is not my favorite stainless steel cleaner. It does a good job at polishing but it does not do a jo good job of cleaning. So anything that's like stuck on um, you know food from kids fingers or anything like that it does not take it off. So you'll see here I end up getting my Blue Land multi-surface cleaner and I spray that on there and that gets everything off super quick. So I would say this sprayway stainless steel stuff is more of like a polish and not necessarily a cleaner. So um, I think my favorite stainless steel cleaner is the CLR. Um, I worked with them years and years ago. Not years and years. Actually, it was. I think it was like 2021 that I worked with them. Anyways. Um, they told me it's actually pronounced clear and it's not pronounced CLR, but I still say CLR because it's just like, that's what they're known as. I feel like, but that stainless steel cleaner is hands down my favorite. So I'm going to get some more of that for sure. Um, cause I feel like it's kind of annoying having to use two products to clean the fridge. So it might have been a bit of a process and I might have been sweating at the end of cleaning this fridge off, but we got it done. So I'm going to hang up the stuff that needs to be hung back up, some Christmas artwork and school stuff. Then we're going to head into the dining room and I'm going to use my Blue Land multi-surface cleaner to wipe down the dining room table. I also have not plugged in the garland lights on the buffet, so I'm going to get those plugged in and then we are heading into the kitchen. I'm going to unload the dishwasher and then we are going to load a few dishes in there, hand wash some things, and wipe everything down in this kitchen. I just said wipe everything down in this kitchen, but what I meant to say is wipe all the counters down in this kitchen. I'm just about done loading the dishwasher and I want to get this cup put in there so I'm chugging my greens finishing that off real quick my AG1 greens and so I can get that cup in the dishwasher too little camera adjustment I actually put my tripod up on top of the island so we could get this cool overhead shot and I have the Iowa pine mrs. Myers dish soap from Target it smells so good these dish soaps and hand soaps. I actually don't have any of the hand soaps right now, but the dish soaps always take me back to when we lived at the farmhouse and um, back in the cleaning video era of like 2017, 2018, we, all of us cleaning video girls worked with Grove Collaborative and we were always promoting Grove Collaboratives and um, these like dish soap, hand soap, cleaning spray sets. 
and these scents always just take me back. I still love using these dish soaps and um, just kind of nostalgic to like where the cleaning videos kind of took off in that era, like 2016, 20, like between 2016 and 2018, it was just like, that is when cleaning videos took off. And look at us, we're still here doing it. There was a while there where I got really burnt out and tired of filming cleaning videos. So I took, you know, a break. I did a lot of vlogging. Now we do a good mixture of like day in the life vlogs and um, cleaning videos and stuff like that. But these dish soaps always remind me kind of like the cleaning videos is kind of how my channel really started to grow. And I'm forever grateful for that. And whenever I'm filming a cleaning video, I'm always like, dang, this is crazy that this is my job. And I literally would not trade it for anything. I think I have one of the coolest jobs ever being able to film videos like this and just post it on YouTube for you guys. Um, and then also like working with all these really cool brands and sharing on Instagram and here on YouTube. And anyways, now I'm, now I'm blabbing. Um, but just a thought that I had a little train of thought that all stemmed from this Iowa pine <laughs> dish soap. So anyways, got that stuff hand washed and now I'm going to wipe down the counters. I'm just using that Blue Land multi-surface cleaner to wipe down the counters in here. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive Faster car, lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. So, in the beginning of this video, I told you I'm gonna clean my floors on the next day because I just don't have time today to vacuum and mop. There's a lot of floors to vacuum and mop in this house, however. Under the bar stools and this main like high traffic area here in the living room and the kitchen and the hallway needed to be vacuumed so bad. Um, I have to vacuum under these bar stools at least once a day, sometimes more. So I could not leave it for a whole other day and just stare at these crumbs. So I am going to vacuum this area here under the bar stools a little bit in the kitchen, just kind of spot vacuum, if you will. And then the next day we're gonna in the next cleaning video you'll see we're gonna we're gonna do the floors um like mop the floors and all of that they need a good scrubbing for sure but i could not leave these crumbs for another day so here we are we're gonna do a little bit of vacuuming Now we are headed into the front room, which is an office, guest room, extra little living room. And we had my father-in-law and my nephew here staying for a few days and they had just left the morning of this video, like I said in the beginning of this video. So 
My father-in-law was like, do you want me to put the bed away? I said, no, don't even worry about it because I have to film today, so I will strip the bed. And so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the sheets and blankets and take those into the laundry room so those can get washed. And then I'm going to get this hide-a-bed put away. I have had questions um, from you guys on videos and on Instagram as well to link this hide-a-bed couch. But we actually got it on Facebook Marketplace shortly after we moved into this house. So I do not have a link for you, but it has a super comfortable like memory foam mattress on it. I definitely suggest shopping Facebook Marketplace when you're looking for furniture or thrifting stuff. Um, I love finding furniture and cool stuff like this on Marketplace. This couch was practically brand new and we got it super inexpensive and it's really comfortable for when our family and friends come visit. And then we have another couch the kids like to hang, in here, hang out in here too. So I got that front room all cleaned up and the living room and kitchen are looking sparkly clean. So now we're going to get started on this hall closet, my Monica closet, if you will. It is a disaster, so I'm going to do my best. I'm just going to start emptying things out and just try to get it a little more organized than it is. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive. Think and break me. How I try, written down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured out. What I do this right. There's a doubt in my mind. Baby, you're the one. And tonight, I am going all. Okay, this is all the organizing I'm going to do in here today. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but it's a lot better than it was. I left this stuff at the very bottom because it's like just random like screws and stuff we had in our trailer. And I just don't know if I should throw that stuff away yet. Um, that is like kids' schoolwork that I really need to go through and put into these binders up here. So I left the binders up there. That is a big project that I need to work on. I've been talking about do it, doing it for way too long now. This is for the Blackstone. It's like apple cider vinegar, like when Donnie's cooking. And then all of this stuff right here is also for the Blackstone. And we have it in this closet because we have like our Blackstone stuff right here. So it just makes sense to have it right here. Um, I have my little Cricut Joy, my Cricut Maker back there. This is all, mostly all, dog stuff. And then we have some, like, bee killer because we had a bee's nest out back here. Blackstone stuff. This is our DVD player we had in the trailer and our DVDs. Don't really know where else to keep those, so those are in here. This is kind of just a catch-all closet. This is my laminator, the laminating sheets, and uh, my three-hole punch. Right here we have Uno, different packs of Uno, some playing cards, a couple board games. Um, I have all of my seeds in here, my gardening seeds, this gardening book. I am going to start a garden again um, next spring. So I have that stuff in there. I've got my Cricut heat press, my steamer, this jar that we put like all of our random change in. These are a bunch of pictures that I need to put into a photo album. I actually have a ton of pictures um, that I need to like get printed and put into a photo album. But these were from a couple of like uh, disposable cameras that I had gotten last year. This has like tape, hot glue, um, Gorilla Glue, like just some little random stuff. This has our back massager and um, heating pad. 
And then this is snow clothes, like all of our snow pants right here, gloves, hats, our little snowman kit. I did get a bunch of stuff out of there and it's a little better than it was. Now we're gonna head into my bedroom. I wanna get my bed made and I just have a bunch of stuff that needs to be put away. Most of the time I end up like folding clean laundry and just sticking it on my dresser and you know dirty clothes end up on the floor and little nighttime snack wrappers end up on my nightstand so I'm just going to get this room put back in order. one of my Young Living oil diffusers in that closet that we cleaned out. I actually had two in there, but the Aria diffuser, the one that has like the glass top on it, I had that one in our trailer when we were traveling and then when we moved into this house, I don't know where the remote went for that and you like can't control it without the controller. And they're sold out on the Young Living website. I cannot find a replacement anywhere. So if you happen to have a spare one laying around, will you let me know? I would, I will buy it from you 100%. Um, but anyways, I had this oil diffuser, also a Young Living one that I've had for years, and I decided to plug it into my bedroom and get some oils going in here. Now I had a few Christmas gifts come in from Amazon and they were just stacked up here in my bedroom next to my dresser. So I'm gonna get these opened up, figure out who's who, and then go stick those in my closet in a hiding spot. So when I said go put them in a hiding spot, here's my hiding spot. That pile of boxes, not the U-Haul box. That U-Haul box has like hunting clothes in it that still need to be unpacked and like folded and put in the top of the closet. Um, but the rest of the boxes, that's just Christmas stuff that's piled up. So <laughs> surprise, there's my hiding spot for Christmas gifts. Um, but I'm just going to get all of my stuff that needs to be hung up, hung up in the closet. So we are back in the laundry room. I got Brody's clothes folded earlier and put away. So now I've got Brayden's clothes in the dryer. I'm gonna pull those out now and we're gonna get those folded. I'm gonna get the laundry from the washer put into the dryer, which is Berkeley's clothes. That's what we started earlier. Um, I'm gonna get those in the dryer and then I'm going to get some stuff 
actually a load of like light colored stuff started in the wash. So since I vacuumed the couch and the ottoman and there's really good vacuum lines on there, I just don't want to ruin those yet. So I'm going to fold Brayden's clothes right here on the kitchen island because I just wiped it down and it's all clean. I got all that stuff folded and there were a couple of things that weren't Brayden's in that load so I just have like one towel to put in the closet up here and then I also have a couple of sweatshirts that were Brody's so I went and hung those in his closet and putting that towel in the hall closet up here where we keep like all the towels wash rags linens all sorts of art supplies and stuff like that and then I'm headed into Brayden's bedroom and I'm gonna get his clothes hung up and put away in his drawers picture in my mind just to keep this moment till the end of time because i know that it might be over after tonight so before i change my mind your hands around my waist just let the music play like the drug But that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys made it to the end, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much again for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. It means so much to me. It helps my channel a lot. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below. I will heart your comment or try to reply back to you in some way. But again, thank you so much for being here. I hope this gave you some motivation. I'm glad we got to hang out. And I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. I hope you have a good Christmas. Bye.